You've likely heard about Line 3 by now. It's a pipeline that would bring tar sands oil through northern Minnesota to Superior, Wisconsin. Part of it would run alongside an existing pipeline corridor, but some of the route requires carving out a new path. Construction on the Minnesota portion started in December and is expected to pick back up tomorrow. But as our Aaron Hassanzada explains, the resistance to the project hasn't let up. Line 3 construction, legal challenges, and protests have been ongoing for months or years. But today we're heading to the Bemidji area to meet the women leading the resistance and to see what they're fighting to protect. Well, we are quite ferocious competition. You could call her a Harvard educated economist, an author, farmer, nonprofit organizer, a former vice presidential candidate, and an Anishinaabe. I'm with security, and they are taking over our park. You could call her a solar panel builder. So we employ about 10 people here. Winona LaDuke is all that, and she's a water protector that's been fighting a new pipeline route near the White Earth Reservation she lives on for eight years. This is one of her biggest concerns. This is the Shell River coming out of Shell Lake. And this river is crossed four times by me. The pipeline will cross not only this river, but the Mississippi twice, along with more than 200 other bodies of water. The company building the pipeline says the old Line 3 has crossed rivers safely for decades. But Leduc says a spill would be devastating. And it's a really beautiful lake. It's a really beautiful lake. It is a lake that is full of wild rice. So there's a lot of life in this river, and they don't, they don't deserve it. Enbridge, a Canadian-based energy company, is behind the project. It moves roughly a quarter of the crude oil produced in North America and says the rest of the pipeline is already built and the Minnesota portion is half finished. The company's original Line 3, built in the 60s, runs crude roughly 1,100 miles from Canada to Superior, Wisconsin. The company's so-called replacement project carves out a new path right between three reservations near Bemidji, including White Earth. Uh, no one here supports that pipeline. These housing projects here, these are full of people that harvest wild rice. And these are people that are saying no to a Canadian multinational corporation. But they're not in it alone. There's a lawsuit against the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency for issuing a water quality certification for the line. The Minnesota Department of Commerce and environmental advocates are appealing the Public Utility Commission's decision to approve the line as well, telling the state court of appeals that long-term demand for oil is questionable. Enbridge says it's not. It's like an occupation. And, you know, they come in here and they are shoving a pipe down our throat. But Minnesotans for Line 3, a group that supports the project, says replacing the line ensures a safe, reliable source of energy as we transition into a more green economy and says the project has created thousands of jobs. Enbridge says it dramatically increases state tax revenues and is needed to maintain safety, adding that the company is working with tribal communities in unprecedented ways and moved the line off the Leech Lake Reservation after negotiations. And this is the... Um, pumping station that there is under construction. Construction is set to rev back up on June 1st, but the resistance doesn't take days off. Public road, public people. Thank you. Mm -hmm. After a long day of fighting the fight, Leduc winds down but doesn't let up. This is Salsa Tuesday, and that is one of Enbridge's offices. The water protectors come out here every week to dance. I have a right to. My people live here for 10,000 years. I have a right to say this is a dumb idea. People say, who do you work for? I say, I work for the slots. You know, I work for Mother Earth. Near Bemidji, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. The Minnesota Court of Appeals is expected to announce its ruling on the Commerce Department's appeal by June 21st and its decision on the MPCA suit by September. Federal courts could also pause the project. There's a federal suit against the Army Corps of Engineers for approving a permit.